In this training video, we're going to look at conditional formatting, but applying conditional formatting when the char function has been used. So we've got an example here in column K, whereby we've got a nested function, which is looked at if the product is rowing machines and the turnover happens to be greater than a million, then display the char function. So these char functions are a way of inserting characters and symbols. So for example, I can insert a symbol. I'll just demonstrate in column L by going to the insert tab, symbols, choosing a symbol. There's lots of them, wingdings two, wingdings wide Latin, lots of different choices, webdings, and you could insert one of these and it comes with its own character code. So you can use these character codes in formulas as well as conditional formatting. So the one that I want to use is the tick that I've got in a, in a square in this example. If I click on it, that tells me it's wingdings and it's character 82. So I'm going to use the character function within conditional formatting to actually conditional format both of these texts to say they're both on target. And the same would apply if you had a large lot of data. There's only a small lot of data in this example. But if you had thousands and thousands of rows and you had some kind of target you wanted to achieve and you wanted to put these ticks in, then you would just highlight the range and apply conditional formatting, which, is, which I'm about to do now. So this is how the tick went in using character 82 and that was in a nested function. So now I'm going to highlight the information. I'm going to go to the home tab, conditional formatting, new rule. And I'm going to go to the formula and I'm going to test whether k2 equals char function and code 82. But I don't want to apply dollar signs to k2, so I want k2 to apply to the rest of the range. So I'm going to get rid of the dollar signs. Now I've tested whether K2 equals char 82, character 82. I'm going to format it and give it a bold and green font. OK. OK, again, and we can now see the ticks have changed to a green color. So we've now applied conditional formatting to wingdings. But what's also happened here is the range where the wingdings are have been formatted with wingdings to formatting. So when you use symbols, whether it's wingdings, webdings, or whatever other symbols you might want to use, you must also format them with the font to be able to see them when they're used in formulas or functions, nested functions, as well as conditional formatting in this particular example. But this completes the training video on using conditional formatting with symbols using the char function. In this example, we used wingdings2 and we used char function82 and we formatted it with green formatting. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.